We're back. We are back live. That's right. That's why we call it the live edition of Power On. We're still here at the Momentum Expo at the beautiful Ed Roberts campus in equally beautiful Berkeley, California. And we're speaking of beauty. We're joined by this young lady, Rachel Feinberg with Human Wear. Rachel, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here at Power On 2019. It's been a great <laughs> expo so far. Um, All right, you know what, Rachel? Fine. Next year, you have a good job. Good job. You just took it over with that intro. That was fantastic. All right, so let's talk about this. There's a difference, of course, between people who are blind and people who have low vision, right? And what is the difference in What's the difference in products needed for each of those groups? That's a great question, and I get asked that often. Um, people come up and they ask, I have a varying degree of vision or I have mm. no usable vision. What product is right for me? Mm. So we have different products at HumanWear. We have a lot of Braille products. These are products that a blind user or a user who knows and prefers to use Braille will use for keeping up with academics, keeping up with things outside of academics, extracurricular activities, and keeping up with their professional life. And those are products that come in the form of Braille computers or peripheral devices that will connect to a phone or computer or a tablet. For a low vision user, that's someone who has some usable vision, but experiences some difficulty when reading print. So we have a few different handheld magnifiers, the Explore 5, which is nice and portable and convenient and that has a light on it and you can adjust different settings to make print easier to read on the go. We have an Explore 8, which is 8 inches and allows you to read printed materials, books, and you can set it on the table uh, for easy reading and you have different options to suit your magnification needs. And we also have a CCTV, the Reveal 16, which allows you to read books, magazines, any printed material, and you can set that on the table and read it and adjust the zoom and the contrast as well. So depending on your level of vision, that will allow you to choose what product is right for you based on what your needs are. Fantastic. There are so many things out there for people. I mean, there really is a lot. You just named probably, it's not even the tip of the iceberg, in terms of products out there for people in need of these kind of products, and I'm glad that we're able to educate people on that, and you're also able to help us educate people on that as well. So let's get a little more specific. You brought something. Let's start out uh, with products for the blind. Products for the blind. That, that is, you brought with you. That yes. You brought with you. So I brought a number of products. Some products that we have here today is our brand new Braille Note Touch Plus. It's the most powerful note taker in the okay. assistive technology industry. We're running the latest version of Android, Android Oreo, which will then be updated to future versions of Android. We're able to charge with USB-C. A blind user is able to navigate with first letter to jump to items quickly and efficiently. There is a touch screen on this tablet which will allow a user to braille on the glass if they choose to do that. Wow. So they're able to braille on the glass, they're able to scroll, they're able to run PowerPoint presentations, they're able to work in Google Drive, and Google Docs, and Google Classroom, they're able to read books with our Easy Reader Plus application which has braille shortcuts for reading books from Bookshare and other libraries. You're able to download third-party apps. Oh, and it's talking. And it has <laughs> built-in speech. Right on cue, perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> so if someone is, is learning or prefers to use speech with Braille, they can absolutely do that. This is a Braille-first product, so we have plenty of shortcuts, plenty of menus, and if they want to browse to learn more about anything on the whole World Wide Web, they can do that through the Chrome web browser. We have shortcuts that any person who is familiar with screen readers will know and love. You can navigate by headings with the letter H. You can navigate by buttons with the letter B. Edit boxes with the letter E, and so on. So you can browse the internet. You can keep up with your email. You can create Word documents with professional formatting. And you can take pictures of printed documents with the 21 megapixel camera. Wow. and convert them to printed text in the KNFB Reader application. 
And of course, you can download third-party applications. So if you want to expand the Braille Note Touch Plus's potential, you can do that as well. And it comes with a port, HDMI port, to connect it to a monitor. And you're able to mirror it to a phone or a tablet or a computer through the use of different apps such as TeamViewer and Join Me and other such applications. So it's a very powerful device. Yeah, fantastic. And I see there's also an SD card in the back there. Yes, right? we yeah. have an SD card. So if somebody needs to store information, they can store documents and wow. data on their SD card. You can store it on a flash drive as well. And you can also insert a USB keyboard or a Bluetooth QWERTY keyboard if you prefer to type on a traditional QWERTY style keyboard. Wow. And you can print and emboss as well. Fantastic. It's like a one-stop shop. Absolutely. For the most All part. in one device. All in one part. device, right. Handheld device. Um, now, something that's not handheld is uh, the other human wear uh, magnifier that you have here. And this is uh, a device for people with low vision. Talk yes. about that. We have the Prodigy Connect, and that is a device for people with low vision. This also interfaces with the Android operating system, so if you wanted to download any third-party apps, you can. But we have different applications that allow somebody to bring in a, a file and they can write in it. Maybe if they have a PDF worksheet that they've been given, mm -hmm. or even a printed worksheet, they can take a picture of that printed worksheet, have it on the Prodigy Connect, and they can write in the document and they can also adjust the contrast and the zoom to make it visible for them, just depending on what their needs are. And there's also uh, an audio function, right? Uh, read it to you, is that? Yes, yeah. on the Prodigy Connect, it does have built-in speech, so you're able to read the document or have it read to you mm. with the speech built in, and you can navigate the menus as well with the speech. So if somebody feels more comfortable having the magnification and the speech, We've built that in as well, so it can meet anyone where they are in terms of their visual needs, and if their eyes grow fatigued after a while or they feel more comfortable with the speech, you can have that as well. That is fantastic. I can, uh, you guys are doing such amazing work. Uh, how do people get more information on humanware? If you'd like to get more information and you're at the expo, please feel free to stop by my table, table 23. Uh, you can also go to the website, www.humanware, H-U-M-A-N-W-A-R-E.com. We have all the information on all these devices and more on the website, along with lots of tutorials and user guides and videos as well for using our products. That's right. We are here for you. Humanware is here for you. And so there's no excuses not to get what you need or someone that you know needs, right? Absolutely not. Come by the table. I want to see it flooded. All right. Now promise me this, that next year you'll co-host this event with me. Oh, next year you're on. We're co-hosting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Rachel Feinberg from Humanware, thanks for joining us here. And we will be right back with more Live Power On. Awesome.